what a beautiful day look at that Lammermuir Hills absolutely stunning anyway hello everyone welcome back to my channel now don't know where I'm going yet but we'll find something nice just kind of exploring today so I think it's been over two weeks since my last video uh, we've had the most horrendous weather here in East Lothian we kind of got, got away with it most of the UK especially down south had it much worse we've had two storms Storm Kiara and Storm Dennis I think thankfully my house didn't suffer although it seemed like it at the time I thought the roof was gonna get blown off a couple of houses in our estate got damaged so it was horrible certainly no motorcycling weather right where are we going where are we oh yeah I know where I am yeah so it's a quick one today another quick one limited hours of uh, daylight again and uh, unusually sunny weather for this time of year I wanted to test my new GoPro mount which I mentioned a couple of videos ago yeah it looks good it does the job the position of the the camera is a lot better than uh, with my previous mount it's kind of more more central and watch this guy Certainly the camera doesn't catch on my shoulders when I do shoulder checks which is brilliant it will be less prone to knocks and I think I got the angles right so fingers crossed yeah so there's a couple of things I wanted to get off my chest really there's been a couple of developments recently one bad or not necessarily bad but sad and the other one good so chatting to my wife recently and she dropped a bombshell decided that motorcycling is not for her and that she's not gonna ride anymore she announced that she doesn't enjoy it it's a bit disappointing but uh, if it's not for her it's not for her you can't force yourself to do these things and I tried to not necessarily persuade but convince her to maybe give it another shot get more practice so as I say you, you can't really force anybody to do it because it's it's one of those things you either love it or it's not for you she still uh, still enjoys going on the back of uh, the V-Strom and going touring with me so that's a good thing which brings me to the, the kind of positive development my wife just told me to sell the van van and get myself uh, another bike I couldn't really argue with this I am getting a second bike I'm over the moon I'm super excited probably as much as disappointed that my wife is not riding anymore I'd rather still have her riding with me you know I really need to take it easy over here my rear tire just uh, slipped the street outside my house was covered in ice this morning so I'm still undecided whether to tell you guys or wait till I actually have the bike because uh, I've actually bought one it's not a brand new bike it's new to me and I, as we speak it's getting prepped serviced and then moteed and that and uh, I will be taking the delivery of the bike uh, at some point at the beginning of next month so yeah super excited right so we are near a place called Ormiston I think we're just gonna visit an awesome little place called the great yew tree it's not a touristy place per se there is no signposts or anything like that but it's it's very very interesting I think we're turning right here awesome sliding all over the place right so this yew tree is nowhere near the the oldest but it's the largest yew tree in the UK so they reckon it's about a thousand years old and interestingly the oldest one in the UK is based in Scotland as well it's in the village of Fortingall and it's known as Fortingall yew 
There you go, I think we've arrived. Need to find uh, somewhere to park. No, or what's left of it? Private property, so we're not going to go any further. But it's a stunning place. Yeah, so Ormiston Hall is where Polish army were stationed during the war. The building unfortunately burned down in 1942 beyond repair and soon after the army was basically sent to battle or the unit that was stationed here anyway were deployed and this is uh, another little thing that's uh, that was left by the Polish army. A little memorial. I don't know if you can see it because it's uh, deteriorating badly but this is a, a Polish crest, Polish eagle and this is the Scottish lion awesome that's a bit better here a bit more dry my rear end was all over the place <laughs> back there hey guys awesome little place well worth a visit it's not signposted anywhere not many people know about this but it's very very interesting and beautiful at the same time look it up on google maps and you'll find it i'm heading back home now so i'm just gonna finish the video here hope you enjoyed it just a quick one today as I say taking advantage of uh, the good weather give me some thumbs up and uh, I will see you next time take care and ride safe <laughs>